time now is approximately minus five minutes. Face Roy. Say again, Jack. Right to you. You've got it. Oh, fine. Right. I've been busy listening to the flight. Everything's going very well. And let me give you some idea of what is about to happen here in just a few moments. Uh, as the 747 gets ready for the separation maneuver, it will go into a very shallow dive. And you may notice that the Enterprise in this model is sitting at a slight incline, about six degrees to be exact. That's planned. And at the time of separation, explosive bolts will be fired. Matter of fact, Fred Hayes will push a button, activating them. Those bolts will be fired, lifting the shuttle. The shuttle will then pitch up, and it will thereby be able to clear the tail of the 747, something about which many people seem to have been more worried than the astronauts because they've checked this out and worked it very carefully. Now, let's tune in. Let's see what's happening up there in the air, orbiting Edwards Air Force Base. Let's listen to the astronauts themselves and the 747 pilots. They're not saying anything, of course, at the moment. As soon as they do, I'll fly Houston down. Control, we're showing altitude 27,000 feet now. At uh, 2 minutes 41 seconds from pushover. Pushover clock will be updated at 1 minute. That's Jack Riley in Mission Control, Houston, advising us that pushover, which is the pushover maneuver. Pushover aircraft pilot, uh, it's full we'll call uh, launch ready after pushover after he's achieved the uh, proper airspeed. Pushover. Probably the next call you will hear will be a Chase 1 calling a SEP. Chase 2 will call clear. The pushover to which Riley refers is the diving maneuver for the 747. Beautiful pictures from one of the chase there planes. There is no countdown clock to separation. Five for pushover minus two. Mark, pushover minus two. That's minus two minutes to the pushover. No problem. person calling that separation is the option of Fred Hayes after the launch ready call. We're hearing Houston Mission Control in direct communication with the astronauts and with the pilots of the 747. And uh, Mr. Riley is in Mission Control in Houston, much like the flights that flew in space. That, of course, is preconceived because Houston Mission Control will be doing all the controlling for the later orbital flights of the shuttle, and so they're breaking in the flight crews now. And in this picture, you can see very clearly chase plane activity off to the side. Those chase planes are observing the 747 and the shuttle. Stand by for pushover minus one. Mark, pushover minus one. You can set your watch by it. We're one minute away from the pushover, which will be the diving maneuver of the 747. And once they've achieved the right speed and the right altitude, then Fred Hayes will push the button. 905 and Enterprise, Houston is go for pushover. 905. 905 is the 747, by the way. That's its code name. Up to launch heading. Roger. Launch ready. That was Fred Hayes advising that he's ready aboard the Enterprise. Okay, Enterprise is uh, set. Thanks for the left set. We're about 10 seconds away from the diving maneuver. 905, we're coming up on 4 seconds to push over. 2, 1, push over. Houston copies push over. Such a shallow dive you can barely see the 747 start to nose down, but it has. Reading now, uh, airspeed 205. He's reading those speeds in knots, by the way. Altitude 27. 27,000 feet. Airspeed 239. Okay, 240. Two lights, uh, Houston is going for set, have a great flight. They're cleared to separate. Power. Ready. Okay, so they go. They have separation. Okay, two clear. Okay, we got a GPC light, lost the sink on two, but no over. And a big X on computer number two. Roger, stand by and halt on GPC number two. 
Go from 0203. They're flying by computer. Flying good. And you can hear them Roger. talking about the computer readouts now. A 40 start and flat. Putting on his flaps just like an air. He's conducting a practice landing at altitude. This gives him the uh, feel and attitude and same airspeed as when he touched down. Yeah, that sideways works is really there. It's not looking good there, but okay, he's been working figures for the uh, dismount site. Roger, we copy. Okay, folks, 205 and 20,100. Okay, 11 Alpha, push it over. Okay, it's going to be 195 and 20,000. Okay, I'm running about 5 or 10 low on the backup and the prime boat. Okay. Let's pull the over now, folks. Enterprise, you said we show perhaps a slightly low LMRD. They are still several minutes away from actual touchdown. We can gauge it as they read out their album. Enterprise, you're clear to start the turn. Hey, Gordo's in the turn. It's really tight, uh, Bo. In fact, I think it's a little uh, better than the OLS uh, TA field. Great. Okay, Gordo, I'm the turn. Okay, Gordo, I'm the turn. 16,250. Fullerton's flying there, though. Fullerton in the right seat. I'm about 14 lower than you are at speed and right on altitude. Okay. Start to turn to final. Hey, how's the energy look? You I'm feeling maybe a little high. We recommend 30% speed brake. Hey, board's coming open to 30. Speed brakes are coming open. Enterprise, we now recommend 50% speed brakes. 10,285. Hey, Blake's looking good, Vettel. Right Hater open about 45 now. Houston, copy. They should be about one minute from... Eight miles out. Energy potential good. Enterprise, we show eight miles out, nine potential, we'll leave you here. Okay. 7,290. This whole gliding flight should take about five minutes from start to finish. We'll see how closely they're matching. 5,295. And still we're in about seven miles. Increasing. A little hot, that's pilot talk for a little fast. 2,300. Fido says it looks super. Mark's coming in. Please, Speed brake's coming in now. Over the numbers in the runway. Here we are, arm, dead clear. Nearing the runway now. 200 feet, 290. Okay, the gear the is coming, coming down. down at 270. Gear coming. Doors open and they're all down, coming down. Look down here. 50 feet. 40 feet. 30. 20. 50. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4 feet. Getting some up. 4 feet. 3 feet. 2 feet. You're going out about two feet. You're out, you're out. Okay, your nose wheel's about ten feet. About five. Four feet. About five feet. Four, three, two, one. We'll see you, mate. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's good. Okay, it's good. Copy 
Copy. Touchdown at 54 minutes, 5 seconds past the hour. Well, that was a beautiful flight, and obviously they came down well, they landed safely, and now they've stopped. A very successful first flight for the Space Shuttle Enterprise. Jack? Just as they were landing, it was too good a glider. Roy, that was quite a flight.